Hey, what is going on guys? It's yet another week, yet another tips for small YouTubers, and let me tell you, this week's is something that has really gotten me over time, and this week's topic is going to be about asking for stuff, asking for favors, and whatnot on YouTube, and you think, you know, well, why would I go and ask someone, or why would I even try and do someone for someone I don't even know on YouTube? Well, a lot of people do do favors for other people on YouTube, they give them shoutouts, they make channel art, and whatnot, and I really, honestly, I hate it. And I think a lot of people got to get over this that they ask bigger youtubers for stuff And when I have someone ask me for stuff I typically tell them well You know that it's not really gonna work out unless I really do like their content if I do legitimately really like their content I've watched it before then I'll definitely help them out But in the case of when people just randomly ask me on Twitter people who I've never met people who have never talked to on Twitter They ask me you know why don't you go give me a shout out or something to that extent and I just basically either ignore it or I tell them that I don't really do that anymore because I don't really do that anymore. You see, I used to make channel arts and I kind of wanted to charge money for it. Obviously, that was never going to happen because anybody's shot at charging money for channel art, especially my not too extremely good channel art, wasn't going to really work out very well. So I never really charged any money for the channel art. I was doing it for free and random people would ask me to do it for them and I, and I would do it for them and then they would, you know, use it. They wouldn't give me any credit basically at all and they'd basically never talk to me or watch my videos again and that's why i quit doing stuff for free like that uh the shout out thing i've always tried to help out people who i like their content of that's why we had the fun four thing and now we've kind of moved into occasionally occasionally yes occasionally not all the time helping gamer clips with their top five weekly videos montage so i say you know if you want to you know get some promotion some self-promotion i just go over to gamer clips and give that a shot for self-promotion but the thing that i really don't like is when people ask bigger youtubers for stuff now when we were starting out we were fortunate enough to you know get to talk with some bigger youtubers the syndicon project tire crocs too they both actually hit 1000 subscribers this week so you know round of applause for them but when we were starting out those were two of the bigger guys probably the two biggest guys that we talked to and probably the reason why i still talk to them today the reason why syndicon's my friend on xbox is probably because i never really asked anything of them i never you know said hey why don't you give me a shout out i never really demanded them to do anything for me i just kind of watched their videos they watched mine maybe because they liked them maybe because they just kept giving me tips on how to improve them because you know starting out they were pretty crappy and they're still kind of crappy now i'm not gonna lie but I think that's the way a lot of people need to approach stuff, especially if a bigger YouTuber does talk to them. And I don't mean bigger as in millions of subscribers, but I'm talking like, you know, maybe a thousand or five hundred or so. Is you need to approach it where you don't ask them for something. You just kind of watch their videos. Maybe they watch yours. But don't ask people for something. Don't do stuff for people. I just... Honestly, it just gets me every time when I think about the time I wasted making channel art for people who never really gave back to me. But that's it, guys, for this week's tips for small YouTubers. Uh, we have created a Let's Play channel I want to keep you guys on the heads up on. It's going to be longer videos, not the kind of stuff you ever see me post here. So there are Let's Plays. This week, we've been doing Z, which is a DayZ ripoff for the Xbox 360, available for just $1 on the Xbox Marketplace. If you are interested in DayZ, or you know got a 360 and a dollar to spend then you might want to go head over and check that out on our let's play channel i will have that linked in the description we'll be doing all sorts of other games in the future gunner's kind of running that and i'm just uploading to it and stuff as far as editing goes but hopefully i can maybe get a funtage of some of our apocasy moments up at some point because it is a decently cool game probably the best one dollar game i've ever played so thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully you guys check out that channel. And of course, GamerClips.tv, great opportunity for promotion.